Hello and welcome back. The last time we finished the digestion part, today we will begin our chapter 2, which talks about transport systems. Now before talking about the transport systems, we will just state the uh, importance for the transport systems. So actually all the living organisms after the digestion of food, they ingest what they have digested by different means. For example, we have in the simple algae, after the uh, digestion process is done, the uh, throat food materials move through one cell to another cell by membranal diffusion or active transport. So there is no need for a complex transport system. And as a matter of fact, the more the organisms are complex, or they are higher, higher, the more the complex transport systems they have. As in the higher plants, the water can move by diffusion, while the mineral salts and the other materials move by different means and through different vessels till they reach the other parts of the plant. But in the case of animals, Also, in the primitive animals such as hydra and protozoa, the digested food moves along by the cell diffusion and active transport, and there is no need for a specialized system, transport system, to carry these materials. While in the higher and more complex animals, there must be a specialized transport system because diffusion is insufficient for the movement of the absorbed um, materials. Um, from the absorption surface to the other parts of the plant and uh, according to this the next time we will talk about the transport systems of the higher plants and uh, until then I thank you for watching and see you next time